Hi Scorpio, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your November 2019 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, Scorpio Rising signs. So Scorpio, happy birthday. Uh, if you are an October born Scorpio, happy birthday. I'm getting a ton of cards flipping out for you Scorpio. Um, very quickly we will look at these. Okay, so we have the Three of Cups, Five of Cups, Five of Swords, Two of Wands, Three of Swords, and then we have two Queens, Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. So we have a lot of Cups and a lot of Swords here. Um, I want to give these a little bit more of a better shuffle. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. We have two queens there, so some of you could be dealing with another woman or maybe two women. All right, Scorpio. So for this reading, I am using the Bianco Nero Tarot. I'm also pulling you a Spirit of the Animals Oracle card by Jody Bergsma. I will be putting down a second layer with the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck. Uh, and that second layer is just to go more in depth. We are clarifying the overall energies for you guys for the month. And then I will be pulling you a Romance Angel Oracle card as well. Scorpio, November 2019. What does Scorpio need to know for the month of November 2019? There is the Ten of Swords that just shot right out, Scorpio. So for some of you, you could have just went through a difficult time, a tough time, but that is a cycle that is completing with the Ten here. Now, maybe it was with a woman or with two women an ear sign woman, a water sign woman. A lot of characters here, Scorpio. So many of you dealing with a lot of different people here, a lot of different energies in November. Let's see, the overall energy for you guys, though, for no November is the world. All right, Scorpio. So we just had the Ten of Swords shoot right out. Um, so we've seen a Ten. Here we have the world. So for some of you, Scorpios, a phase or a chapter of your life is, is completing this is all about achievement. You moving on to the next level. You leveling up, Scorpio. Um, and the world here in this position as the overall energy, this is you in November, Scorpio. This is you feeling accomplished. Some of you are accomplishing something here. Uh, now, this might have been a process. Some of you could be coming out of a difficult time because we just had that Ten of Swords. Here, underneath the world, we do have the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. So, for some Scorpios, maybe that was around a money matter with the Ace of Pentacles, a solid new beginning. This could be a lump sum of money, an inheritance, a new job, a new home. If you are moving house, Scorpio, in November... With the world, it could be a long-distance move. Some of you are moving up within your career. Some of you are starting a new job. Uh, we have the Eight of Pentacles here underneath Temperance. Now, Temperance, for some of you, is a healing energy. We just seen that Ten of Swords. So some of you went through a difficult time, and it's around this Ace of Pentacles. Maybe this is something you were trying to achieve, um, trying to manifest here. But it is happening in in November so very nice um, and again you have a lot of characters here you have a lot of characters but what I'm going to do Scorpio is I'm going to put down a second layer here and this is just clarifying uh, the overall energies for you guys for the month of November Scorpio November 2019 
right. And we'll just take a peek here. We do have the High Priestess Scorpio. So listen to your intuition. For some of you, your intuition definitely could be very strong here in November. So very, very interesting. Uh, High Priestess is also... She's very mysterious. She's secretive. So some of you Scorpios could be playing your cards close to your chest. Let's see. Okay, interesting. We have the High Priestess here. Wow. High Priestess, Seven of Swords, the Magician. But then we have the Ace of Swords here. Wow. So for some of you, a secret. A secret is going to be coming to light here in November. So... This could be you revealing something, Scorpio. Uh, for others, you could be learning something here. Um, if someone was hiding something from you, if someone was trying to trick you with a magician in the Seven of Swords, if someone was manipulating you or trying to trick you in some way, for some of you, this is you learning that. Um, with the Ace of Swords, clarity, truth, justice, so very interesting. Um, listen to your intuition. If you have a feeling about someone around you, if you feel as though someone doesn't have the best intention, Scorpio, uh, listen to your intuition. Very interesting. Again, a lot of characters here, a lot of characters. Uh, right at the center, we have the Hermit crossed by the Page of Cups. I definitely see many of you learning here. November is a month where you're going to be learning quite a bit. Very insightful. Um, we have two pages here in the challenge position. So for some of you, right at the start of the month, maybe you're waiting on communication, waiting on news to come in. But it will. It's, it's coming in in November here. So even if something is delayed, it's just it's just a temporary delay because I feel like you are absolutely learning. You're you're gaining clarity. Uh, for some of you, you're maybe hearing what it is that you are waiting on. Hearing Scorpio, it could be from a male. We have the Emperor here, so he really could be any sign. He could be a Virgo for some of you dealing with a Virgo male. He could he could be your husband. He could be your boss. Some of you are learning about this, this male character. Maybe you're hearing from him. He could be teaching you something. You could be teaching him something. Um, if you're a male Scorpio, you might want to spend some time alone here. You could be going off and, and spending some time alone doing your own thing. If you were waiting on news from your boss or waiting on being promoted, some of you, that's what this Ace of Pentacles, this Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck is all about with the world as the overall energy. You're leveling up. You're uh, achieving success here. You're, you're going to a new level here. And for some of you, that could be within your career. Um, Maybe you are going to be the boss. So if you are waiting on news to come through, for some of you, it could be coming in at the start of the month. Others, it will be coming in. For some of you, I feel like it could be mid-month. Um, for some of you, it might be around the second week and then others the third, the fourth week of November. But it's coming in. And so some of you might be the boss. You might be waiting on uh, news uh, in, in regards to a job, but that news is coming in. That news is coming in. Others, this could be on the relationship front. You might be dealing with a Virgo. You might be dealing with this, this uh, male energy. Uh, I could be reading for some Scorpio females where you're going to be maybe taking a break from this male. You could be separating yourself. You could be going off and spending some time alone with the hermit energy here. Uh, and if you're if you are doing that, some of you could be learning some stuff here while you are maybe alone. At your foundation, I do have the Four of Wands with Judgment. So I am reading for some Scorpios that this is more on the relationship front. Maybe some stuff went down in October. I could be reading for some Scorpios where you are 
you are mending a relationship. If it's not romantic, it, it could also be a family relationship. Um, prior, this could be you and, and your partner maybe making a decision to, to heal a relationship with judgment in the Four of Wands. For those of you that are married or it is family prior, you could have made a decision to, to give someone a, a second chance with judgment. Others, this might have to do with a home or, again, career, um, with judgment. Something to do with the past for some of you. It's also, it's also a, a strong healing energy for some of you. Um, rising up from a difficult time prior. Now, what's interesting is in the recent past, I have the Queen of Wands and then the Nine of Swords. So for some of you females, this could have been your energy maybe back in October. Um, more, more fired up, passionate, very, very creative, very ambitious. Others, maybe you're dealing with a, a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries. With the Nine of Swords, this could have been someone that you were worried about, someone that you were thinking about with the Nine of Swords, staying up at night. Could have been stressing over this person. For those of you that are relationship, you are healing a relationship with someone. It could also be with a Queen of Wands. Other Scorpios, this could be someone in your life. You have a lot of characters here. So this could be someone around you who was maybe stressing out. Maybe you were there for them. Um, a friend for some of you. It, it definitely could be a friend. And I, I feel as though I am reading for some male Scorpios. So this Queen of Wands could be a friend of yours. She might even be a high priestess for some of you. A very spiritual person. Uh, crowning you, we have the Nine of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles. So those of you that this is on the job front, um, yeah, you're you're achieving success. For some of you, you're landing a new job or you're moving up within that company that you already work for. Knight of Pentacles uh, can represent that communication, that offer that's coming in. And with the Nine of Cups, for some of you, a wish come true, something that's that's bringing you great joy. The Nine of Cups is all about um, physical pleasures, material, physical pleasures. And so some of you are enjoying yourself. You might be spending some time alone with that hermit energy for some of you spending time alone and, and just enjoying yourself. Or this is something you're thinking about and you definitely will make time for that here in November. Uh, for some of you, uh, Ace of Pentacles, you could have had some money come in. And uh, you could be splurging a little bit here. Definitely see some of you maybe splurging a little bit here, especially if it's your birthday. There's nothing wrong with that. Those of you that this is a woman, a friend, uh, this could be someone you're interested in. Some of you, Scorpios, I mean, you might at the start of the month be spending some time alone and maybe thinking about this. This could be a potential love interest for some of you. Maybe... Um, Maybe around the second week, you could be getting together with this person. Here, uh, we do have the Queen of Swords and then Death. So that's very interesting. Now, earlier when I was shuffling for you guys, I had the Queen of Cups with the Queen of Swords come out earlier. And so, again, a lot of characters. Some Scorpios, you're dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. This could be your energy here around the second week if you're female. We have death, though. Very, very strong major arcana is here with the world, uh, the high priestess, the world, death. And so with the world and death, um, there, is, there is a rebirth here. And we also have judgment at your foundation. This is a rebirth. Some of you are going through great change. For some Scorpios, your life is transforming here. Your life is transforming. Now, something could be leaving your life, creating space for something new to come in, or things will never be the same. 
You female Scorpios, this certainly could be your energy with death and the Queen of Swords here. Um, mentally, very, very focused upon something here at this time. And around the third week in the position of your power, I have the King of Swords with the Nine of Pentacles. So we do have a couple here. We have the King and the Queen of Swords. So for those of you that are partnered, you could be partnered with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Also could be a Virgo. Now, for those Scorpios that a relationship is ending, those of you that a relationship is ending, which I'm not talking to many of you, but for those of you that a relationship is ending, I actually see you quite happy about it. I don't see you emotional. Uh, I actually see you spending time alone and enjoying yourself. Uh, here you have, you have a couple of nines, the nine of cups, the nine of pentacles, I feel like you're feeling good. Some of you are feeling good. You're maybe splurging. You're, you might be making more money now. Um, so you have you have a little extra money. Some of you are, are really just enjoying yourself quite a bit here, um, especially if it's, it's your birthday. You could be going out here around the third week. Nine of Pentacles, very independent energy, and also it speaks about status. So some of you moving up within your career, leveling up. Here, in the position of how others are viewing you, this is interesting because for me, this is more, this is representing others' opinion of you. And so we have the Eight of Swords, which someone might view you as stuck uh, too much in your head, overly worried about something, fearing the worst, nervous with the Eight of Swords, really worrying unnecessarily here. And that could be financial for some of you with the Two of Pentacles. Others, I feel like you have a decision. I feel like this is about a decision. And so someone around you, for some of you, it could be a family member, it could be a partner, someone around you sees you as having to make a decision, but you're feeling a little stuck or you're overthinking it too much. And so you could be changing your mind quite a bit with the Two of Pentacles energy. And then in the hopes and fears, I have another page, Page of Wands with the Devil. So we have three pages here. So messages, communication coming in. Now we know that Mercury is retrograde. I believe until the 21st of November. And so for, for those of you that haven't heard news um, for the first three weeks of November, it could be taking place, it could be coming in uh, after the 21st. A Capricorn person could be significant. Some of you are really fearing the worst though. This is fear. This is negative energy. So those of you that are making a cut, you could be severing ties with just negative influences, energies. Try to stay positive. Stay out of your head. If you have to make a decision, don't overthink it. For some of you, just do it. The universe is supporting you here at this time. Many of you going through big changes here, big changes. So don't overthink anything, really needing to stay positive. And also, you know, if you are overindulging, if you are having a lot of fun here, um, we have temperance here. So just try to keep that balance. Too much of something isn't, isn't, isn't good for us. But energy that you do have here at the end of the month, going into December, we have the Magician, and then we have the Ace of Cups. So we have another Ace here. So some of you Scorpios, you're manifesting a new beginning here at the end of the month. So for some of you, you have this Ace of Pentacles. Um, this could be you leveling up within your career. Others may be moving house or money that is coming in here in November. For, for other Scorpios, 
you might have a new relationship here, something that is going to be emotionally fulfilling for you here at the end of the month. So some of you, you have this Ace of Pentacles and now you have this Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is something that is going to bring your heart great joy. I could be reading for some Scorpios where this is a healing energy. If you felt trapped or stuck or unable to move forward the way that you wanted to prior, uh, this could be you now really um, using those tools with the magician energy, being resourceful, using those, those tools, getting creative. Um, whatever it is that you're manifesting at this time, believe in yourself, stay positive. But uh, overall, you know, we have some really positive energies here going through great change. Uh, some of you could be rising up from a difficult time, starting all over again. This is all about rebirth for some of you, rebirth, regeneration. Uh, financially, some of you are in a really good place or here in November you will be. Uh, lots of material pleasures here. Um, seeing many of you quite content and you also have a lot of characters here so you could be sharing this abundance sharing with others around you uh let's pull you let's pull you an additional guidance card scorpio for okay these two wanted to come out all right so let's focus on love life for scorpio november 2019 scorpio sun rising signs now with what we've seen at the bottom of the deck scorpio with the high priestess the seven of swords the magician again you could be learning something some of you a secret is coming to light Uh, we have the magician twice, and so some of you could be dealing with a magician, with a character who, the magician uh, in, the, in a negative sense could be like the trickster, um, definitely someone who has his own intentions, his own motives. But if something was revealed at the start of the month, uh, or if you were separated from this person, with the Ace of Cups here, you could be coming back together with them at the end of the month. Let's see, Scorpio. We do have feminine and masculine energy here, and the masculine energy that I have here is pretty dominant, pretty strong. I think that some of you are definitely dealing with a Virgo, a Virgo dominant energy. He could even come off a little controlling. All right. So we have Swan, Grace. Uh, you who glides across the waters of my soul, bring me your wisdom and light. Help me transform into elegance and grace. Inspire me with dignity and the spirit of beauty. All right, Scorpio. So you're going through great change here. You're going through great change. Change is not always the easiest. Some of you, though, you will do it. You will do that with great ease. For some of you, I feel like you are using this sword. Um, I could be reading for some Scorpios where you you are personally ending something, uh, and you could be doing that in a very graceful way. Um, if you're dealing with a trickster, if you're dealing with someone who was lying to you. Um, you could be cutting this person out of your life and taking the higher road for some of you. You're not, you're not going to be dropping down to their level. 
We have White Stag Protector. You are an old soul. Your best friend is nature. Use your intuition to take you where you want to go. Awaken to the powerful force within you. You are meant to create blessings with your magic. Very nice. Very nice. And so, yeah, some of you hold a lot of a lot of magic, a lot of creative energy here. For those of you that you're not dealing with a trickster, anybody like this, this, this can be very positive energy for you to work with. Some of you with the Hermit and the Seven of Swords, Nine of Pentacles here, these are more independent energies, the High Priestess, more independent energy. So some of you are manifesting. You're going through great change. You're manifesting. You have the ability to do so here in November. If you're waiting on, if you're waiting on news communication, for some of you, um, it could be coming in after the 21st, but we absolutely have news coming in for you. We have a night and three pages here in this spread. Um, others, I think you're dealing with this masculine energy. This could be your husband a protector. Some of you are definitely dealing with a very masculine, maybe dominant male. Focusing on your love life, we have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. So if you do want to meet someone, get out, be social. You know, if your friends ask you to hang out, definitely take them up on that offer. Uh, I could be reading for some Scorpios where you're going to be meeting this very dominant uh, male here in the month of Nove November. This could be someone that's coming into your life. Um, if you met them in October, you could be getting to know them. Some of you are maybe just friends with this person, but here in November, you could be getting to know them. We do have a couple here. We have the King and the Queen of Swords. And if you've been single for a while, that could be a phase, a chapter of your life that's completing. So very, very interesting, Scorpio. Make sure that you're listening to your intuition. Take the higher road. Protect yourself. Um, many of you have the ability to manifest here in November. And if, if you need to ground your energy, get outdoors. Spend some time in nature because that's going to help you. All right, Scorpio, so I hope that you found this reading helpful. Again, I want to wish you all a very happy birthday. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading, please check out northeasttarot.com. Have a great month, guys. Take care.